don't want to be spotted here. Should be running. I hope you're ready. Get them.
Thelos Islands, two sides of the same coin. Thelos, sacred birthplace of Artemis and Apollo, and Mykonos, where people do everything that's forbidden on Thelos. Read me the note again. Eagle-bearing Mystios, that's you. Otharkis, cruel leader of Delos Islands, takes money from our pockets and food from our mouths, all to feed his inset... inseti... Insatiable. Yes! His insatiable thirst for power. Odarkis is one of them, Varnavas. The ones hunting my family. Keep reading. We are a modest but fierce group of rebels who'd pay you handsomely to help us overthrow our vile oppressor. I pray the winds guide you swiftly to our shores, Mystios. Our people are dying. Signed, Kira. We arrived just in time to help. You see? Poseidon wasn't trying to drown you. He was getting you where you needed to go. Aggressive. Does the note say where Kira is? There are two locations marked. A camp along the northwestern coast and a hideout that looks like it's underneath the city. Odarki sounds like a cruel man. He's worse. I once heard a family was late in paying their dues to the gods. Bovarki sent his men to their farm and took the young ones from their beds. When their mater and pater woke up to feed the animals, they discovered the animals were already feeding on the corpses of their sons. The sooner I send this monster to Hades, the better. Even Hades would shudder in his presence. This place seems... nice. <laughs> this island has a giant history, my friend! We don't have time, Varnavas. I meant Mykonos literally has a history involving giants. Apollo was once friends with Hyperboreans from the snowy north. Until one day, they sent two maidens and five of their men to Vilos with offerings for the son of Zeus. They were never seen again. And Mykonos? The island itself was built from the corpses of giants slain by the legendary Heracles. My mind wandered. Remind me what the note said. <clears throat> Eagle bearing mist. The short version, please. Odarkis, cruel leader, thirst for power, pay you handsomely, rebellion, people die. It's time I met with this Kira. I'll have the ship ready in case we need any... immediate departures. That was Kefalonia, and that was mostly your fault. Ha <laughs> ha! Here, Cassandra! Here, Varnavas. Oh, ne, ascoli, ascoli. 
There's the rebel hideout. Seems like a good place for a hideout. I'm looking for the one called Kira. I've come in response to a call for help. You missed. Are you here to spy, Athena? Or maybe you are Athena herself, dressed in a dirty disguise? Do I really look like a spy to you? Podarkis and his men have been hunting and killing us without mercy. His spies are everywhere. He won't rest until all who oppose him are dead. We are all that's left of the Resistance. This is the first night we aren't fighting for our lives. And it could be our last. And suddenly, you show up. This is why I'm here. It's your symbol, right? You're the Mystios who bears the Eagle of Zeus. My apologies. These are dangerous times for anyone waging war against the Athenian Empire and the Delian League. I am Kira. Your note mentions Podarkis. I'm going to find him. His house is on the coast, uh, north of Mykonos city. But he's heavily guarded. We've never been able to get close enough without taking heavy casualties. This is why I sent for you. I thought Vilos was the heart of the Thelian League. Athens' pride and joy. We were, until Athens took the League's treasury away from Vilos. Why? So they could build a statue of Athena mocking Apollo. The people pleaded with Podarchis not to trust Athens with the treasury. But his thirst for power made him deaf to his people. If things are so miserable, why doesn't Vilos abandon the League? Podarkis sends Athenian soldiers to collect money from us all. The moment that stops, Athenian ships will burn our islands to the ground. I came here to help you deal with one man, not go to war. Which is why I sent word of a rebellion to the mighty Cassandra, and Sparta, too. Podarkis discovered the other cap and sent Athenian soldiers to attack. Malaka! You and your rebels are too drunk to fight. Leave the soldiers to me. Yeah. 
<laughs> if you think I'm going to miss a chance to kill Athenians, you're the one who's drunk. Sparta answer your call for help? A Polemarchos named Taletas and a handful of Spartans landed on Lycos, not long ago. you. It's their camp we're headed to, isn't it? Taletas needs our help now, though he never admitted. Sounds Spartan, all right. Fought well, Kira. You too, Spartan. I was, but that was a long time ago. Spartan blood is eternal, stranger. What's your name? This is Cassandra, the one I told you about. They call me Thaletas. I was Polemarchos to the Spartans here. Was? Our ship was sunk. Our generals killed. There are only a few of us left. We've all lost friends to this war. And we will mourn them later. She's right. We shouldn't be standing here drenched in Athenian blood. We'll be safe in the hideout. Let's talk there. Will you come to the hideout now or meet us there later? There's no time to waste. We'll go to the hideout now. How long till Podarchis finds us? We're right under his nose. His nose is so high in the air, he couldn't find the statue of Artemis Agrotera if he was standing on her head. We know where he lives. I say we knock down his door and run our spears through his face. That's a terrible plan. The Spartan phalanx is impenetrable in a ground assault. Not when there's only 12 of you. You think with your heart. That's what I like about you. But you're a general. To those men now, you need to think with your head. All you do is hide in caves and lurk in shadows. We didn't come here to hide. We came here to fight. And we will. But right now, we're outnumbered. We must be strategic. Cassandra, what do you think we should do?
Kira's right. Taking them head on would be suicide. Sailing here was suicide! Right now, my men are on the beach. That's where I'll be. Thaletas, don't! If you decide you actually want to win this rebellion, come find me. Ah, oh, Spartans. Don't mind him. He'll be fine after he kicks something. But I'm glad you agree with me, Cassandra. Meet me at the Temple of Artemis. There we can discuss how to take down Podarkis. This is going to be a long rebellion. Stay hidden if I don't want to fight. Sandra, I'm glad you came. I'm glad you didn't throw another blade at me. I know, I know. You came all this way and I was cruel to you. 
Well, you weren't the first, and you won't be the last. Villians are kind people. At least we were. Before him. Podarkis. That man's been hunting me my whole life. Then why have you let him live this long? Let him live? Let him live? I've been trying to kill him since I was old enough to draw a bow, but that coward hides behind endless shields, and this is the closest I can get without people dying. This is why I sent for you. To help me get close enough to fire an arrow into Podarkis' black heart. Then it's time we turn this predator into prey. How do we get past his guards? Soldiers need two things to fight. Swords in their hands and food in their bellies. Take them away and the guards fall. Scouts reported Podarkis' supplies and weapons were stockpiled in the old ruins on Delos Island. I'll go to Delos, find their stockpiles and destroy them. What can I show you? Thanks for looking.
place is well guarded. Need to be careful. Water is pretty deep here. I should turn back. Kintos ruins. This is where I'll find Podarkis' weapons and supplies. Break their supplies, break their will. Marcus's troops will be helpless. Spelling was this much fun.
Should destroy these without attracting attention. That should do it. Kira will want to hear about this. I don't think I should brave that water in this boat. Is it done? Well, Vargis's guards will have to fight with their fists and on empty stomachs from now on. Excellent. So, what will you do once Podarkis is dead and the rebellion is won? The sad truth is I have no idea. 
For as long as I can remember, every day has been a struggle to live, to love. Vengeance has all but consumed me. And what will Cassandra do once this is over? We have a lot in common. I was hoping when the smoke clears, we could find somewhere quiet. And what exactly do we have in common? I just... we... I just thought that's what people said to each other. I wasn't expecting a follow-up. <laughs> the mighty Cassandra caught off her guard. Relax, a moment together would be nice. It's time we got going. When Povarkis learns of what happened on Dilos, he'll want revenge. And the first to suffer will be the Dillians. Here.
step if I were you. Someone wants you dead. It'll be trouble if I'm spotted here. That's it. 